the layer twos, Eric. So do you still think, given given the way layer two chains work, that's in other words, side chains or chains that connect into the Ethereum network to take advantage of and, and faster speeds, lower transaction costs, do you still think the 10 to 100 times? thousand times cheaper comparison to Ethereum continues to hold merit a significant comparative advantage? So this question is tricky. It's kind of almost like if you stopped beating your wife yet, right? It's one of those because the, the problem with this question is that um, when the model is so different, the capacity that's created is uh, of a different order, of a different type. So trying to compare price doesn't make a lot of sense. And we did it, I did it. So it's kind of my own fault, right? Um, so, cause in the early days, what we did is we did, we looked at how many transactions the, of computation could happen um, in, uh, in the Holochain model on Go. And we compared what the gas cost would be to the same ones in Ethereum. And I actually ran the gap, the, 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 I created a um, Ethereum apps that did this and I created Holochain apps that did, the, did it under the Go model. And the price difference was like, well, it was really not comparable. And so maybe that was a little bit of hype that wasn't fair on some level because there just aren't gas costs. And so like, if you want to store, if you want to sort a list of a thousand numbers, you can't do it. So how do I pair the price of impossible versus possible? If I do something small, I could compare the price of it and I could make a story about gas. And it's really just almost in some way, not really fair. Um, yeah, and so the other thing that you can't do inside the, the main chains is you can't do data storage. You can't store a lot of data. That's like, it doesn't even fit in a block and it's, it's impossibly expensive. And so I, I almost wanna say it's not fair to make the comparison on the numbers. And, but the competitive, as a competitive advantage, the capacity that we provide is surely something that's still significant. Um, but I'm not gonna be able to do, give you prices. And also the volatility is so high, like gas price goes up and gas price goes down and maybe you can do something over on a side chain. I mean, some people have said that one way of looking at Holochain is that it's side chains all the way down. Everybody has their own chain. So, okay. So like, I, I really don't quite know how to answer that question. Um, but, but the point is that in the Holochain ecosystem, because of the way it's architected, you can do a different set of things. And that doesn't mean that the things that are being done in Ethereum aren't useful and valuable. They're awesome. It's like the blockchain has solved beautiful, beautiful problems. And it's, it's just fantastic. We're, we're doing something that's in some ways orthogonal that we had to compare to that um, because that's what's around and that's what's invisible. But when you create a, a system that's for creating distributed applications, that isn't all about one computer, one global computer, which is what Ethereum basically is, is the global computer. Instead, it's about lots and lots of small groups at lots of different levels being able to create applications that are fit for purpose at tiny in tiny spaces. Well, it's a different capacity and we can also do solve some of those problems in different interesting ways that are being solved at that level. It's just, it's hard to, hard to, to, to play the game. And so I hope that's not too evasive, but it, it feels like the only real honest way to go at, at answering the question. Yeah. And just if anyone watch, watching again, you can jump into the Holo Telegram chat. One of the core devs was actually answering that question about half an hour before the AMA in in his own way, which is essentially like, you know, just saying awesome, but it's basically taking a text string of 72 characters saying, you know, as a UTF-8, that would be about $1,000 worth of gas on Ethereum. And if you had then a thousand X scaling solution on like a polka dot, that would cost about $1. Whereas in, in a Holochain context, that's still free, right? And so, and in a hollow context, that we'll see how the pricing emerges, but it's not going to, you know, actually, we, we, we'll, let's see what happens there. So even then, still the multiplier between the free to the $1 is still expressible in the 10,000, 100,000, right, et cetera, you know. So I think there's a few.